All the fallout continues today after Build-A-Bear's chaotic pay your age day around the country yesterday. The promotion led to shutdowns, police calls, and a whole lot of people headed home unhappy, including at the Galleria Mall. And Channel 2's Heather Lee is here with the reaction and what uh, Cheektowaga police had to say about the incident. Heather? Hey there, Adam. You know, Cheektowaga's assistant police chief said the store and the mall should have known that there would have been a large crowd and they should have better prepared for the rush by, among other things, notifying police that this promotion was happening ahead of time. Long lines went from one end of the mall all the way to the other and wrapped around and at one point, multiple lines formed that caused plenty of confusion, angered some people when they saw others skip ahead of them in line. Well, mall security, we're told, called Cheektowaga police just before 10 o'clock yesterday morning, but there was no time to prepare. Cheektowaga police then had to call in state police, NFTA officers, the sheriff's office, Lancaster, Depew, and West Seneca police, all to help control the crowds and be there in case things really got out of control. Usually we get a word, a heads up, and then we can plan for it. Um, and in, even in this case, they were having issues in London four or five hours earlier where a corporate could have notified local stores here and said, this is going to be much bigger than we anticipated. Uh, but that never happened. We never got notified. We were completely unprepared for it. Cheektowaga police had officers at the mall until 930 last night, making sure that everything went smoothly. The Cheektowaga police are in the process of setting up a meeting with Build a Bear and the mall to discuss plans for the future. If that store or others decide that there is going to be another promotion that could have a really large draw, they want to be notified and well in advance. Spire did not know a total cost for the half dozen agencies who responded yesterday, but said essentially they ended up working using your tax dollars essentially for security for a promotion that got out of hand. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.